Hello Zayred and welcome to yet another Zombie Survivors. So let's start. So we start with, let's just go with the first one SWAT. So a strong willed and charismatic soldier. The horde took everything he loved, but is more than ready to return the favor. While the world he, world he knew may be gone, there are many people in need of protection and is determined to fight for what he believes in is right. So yeah, his range, rifle guns, air support, high fire rate, leader perk has increases, reload speed by 2.5% and we need to kill 5000 zombies to do anything. Oh, there's a different mode, so default. And also there's a different map. So standard yet, not a zombie survivor's game mode, can survive the night until dawn. And then the noise of city life was something that we all were used to. Now it's very different. What's this? Oh, hardcore. Oh, we need to clear this one first. And it looks like this. Wait, this one says coming soon. Is there only one map or do we unlock these? We'll see. But the shot out of fire. Yeah. Uh, accuracy is not a thing apparently. So yeah, it's like uh, the other uh, Bullet Heavens games, but with uh, you control multiple units in a circle. They don't own upgrade tree, leveling up things. So yeah, we can get helicopter strike. Helicopter flies uh, by every 40 seconds, carnaging all zombies in its way. Grenade trail throws a grenade every 15 seconds in direction opposite to current movement that explodes after a while and deals 200 damage. Or just level up pistol. Let's level up pistol. Let's do more damage. Yeah, aiming of the units isn't that great. On the looks of it. That's the first signal that we need to go to. Yeah, it's hard to kill them. Even now. There's only uh, early start. Yeah, this looks like a new unit. Let's get this. So you can do liberate, let the rescued person take shelter in the military base and receive a level up and the $800 in stats or engineer. Max out plus 300%, uh, uh, 300. Reduces the kill cooldown by 1.25. That increases health with tank. Now let's get engineer. So yeah, now we have like uh, a Tesla weapon. Electrocution. Electricus zombies around the engineer every 20 seconds. So this is more of a wave clear unit than that we took. So every 20 seconds we do like a massive discharge. Uh, let's get grenade trail. Yeah, that just murdered a bunch of them. Oh, reduces cooldown on electrocution. Yeah, let's do that. And also increases the range. Might want to heavily invest in that uh, ability. The bigger the range, the better. Getting to the uh, golden arrow is gonna be a pain in the ass. Also, the. The new units are way faster that uh, that's coming after us. The new enemy type. Yeah, more electrocution. More race and cooldown. That should help a lot. What's this? 
killing frenzy. Oh, I think that's normal uh, fire rate up. So that's like a resource, uh, resource, resource crate. <laughs> magnet range up. Uh, I'm taking the magnet. Three items. Is an achievement apparently. Oh, that's just get the first uh, first item. So, oh, we only have three units, so we can only get a tank. Me and the boys. Yeah, remember that you unlock more units somewhere. Uh, let's see, more electrocution. It's over 9,000. <laughs> well, that's uh, an overused reference. I still chance skill damage. Oh, let's get skill damage. That should be 10% uh, on that those abilities. So any of those... Uh, those abilities should work. Minefield. Plant three mines every 30 seconds. I'm taking that. Uh, yeah, another killing frenzy. Let's see, uh, more electrocution. I want that to constantly fire. If I can. Or get as high as possible. up again I don't think I care for that one let's just get more grenades I think the money is like meta progress oh those the mines let's see more minefields So what does that do if you already have the maximum amount of units? It just gives you a level. More grenade trail. Oh, that takes a minute. Uh, dodge chance. How does that work? Oh, those things explode. The poison looking enemies explode on death. I haven't seen a magnet yet. Let's see... Yeah, get more grenade trails. Get as many levels on the active abilities as I can. Or on the skills, I should say. Because I'm not triggering them myself, it's all on a, a cooldown base system. They're having way more trouble now. Maybe I should just upgrade my normal weapons. Instead of just upgrading those skills. Because normal damage is like non-existent. Let's get Taser. I think that's that uh, engineer's ability. That's all lightning based. All Tesla based stuff. Oh, well, these are fast. Oh, and that's uh, the champion type. Skyton on activate that skill. Mm. 
Ó. Oh. And this guy. And he dropped like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, max level grenade trail. I was creating a uh, poison field. This makes it impossible to get past them. We need to get to the other side. And hopefully not take too much damage. Uh, let's get shotgun up. Yeah, so it looks like they're all accumulating the, the diamonds into a big one. If you don't pick them up in time. Critical chance, movement speed, weapon fire rate by 10%. Taking that one. So let's get shotgun up. I need normal damage. This city loads your weapon when you take damage. Ugh. Skill cooldown 10%, minus 10%. I'm taking this one. Because I have all... Oh, that's where the cooldowns are. Let's go. 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 Just noticed that. Uh, upgrade minefield probably. Or. Oh, well, let's get pistol. Should just get the basic weapon upgrades first. Instead of heavily relying on skills. Oh, that's the problem. That's a killing frenzy. That's two killing frenzies. That's an armor. That's a super speed. Not like three power ups at once. Health before I die. that one I'm guessing it's the boss that's it that. yeah and Taiwei just got annihilated just by uh, the lightning bolt uh, let's get shotgun further up That one. That's also hard to deal with. Oh, now I have long range enemies. Fonzies. Like I wasn't gonna die before. Oh, this health. And yeah, now it's really in the uh, I'm gonna murder you mode. Pump action shotgun. Nice your shotgun into a pump action shotgun. Oh, so it goes above the normal weapon type. That's neat. Well, I think I have like four different. Uh... Oh, I'm screwed. It says the whole horde evolved. It wasn't hard enough yet, so it's making it. 366 damage in one hit. Yeah, that was just meant for me to die. Oh well. Continue. So, four training points. 
So we got three items, me and the boys, it's over 9,000, so that's probably the, the electricity thing. Five pickups, so gear of war, and horrible night to have a curse. Unlocked burger, so fire rate up, movement speed. Oh, these are passive, uh, these are the items from, uh, from those golden chests, I think. Passive attitude, instantly reloads your weapons when you take those, oh, I've seen this. Oh, that means that it actively pops it in the moment you unlock it. Scouter. Critical chance. Oh, the scouter is from this one. That makes sense. Because that's a Dragon Ball reference. Lucky Bill. Money modifier. And unlocks the upgrade tree. So I'm guessing that's this one. Oh, that was uh, collect more money. So did you up two? Bigger bullets, your weapons deal more, so it's 5% damage up. Actually, this is more important, I think. Just get like a... All of these. Because it looks like the, they double their uh, cost every time you upgrade them. What's this upgrade? Oh, that's when you're not using the mouse, I'm guessing. Okay, that was a short run. Let's see. Oh, so it's when you select. So we need five, uh, three thousand more enemies to kill to unlock uh, these things. Uh, let's just try that again. Uh, oh, unlock condition is clear. This. So we should be a little bit more powerful. But I might not invest too much on the basic... <coughs> or the, on the uh, skills and more on the weapon itself. Now they know that it can evolve. So you can get a better version of the, the weapon. Spawn rate is nothing at the moment. Ah, uh, there it comes. Super speed. Some guys there's some movement speed increase. For like 30 seconds or something. Let's see. Pistol upgrade. The electrocution ability was probably the best for clearing a lot of these enemies like one hit do not do enough damage no. uh, let's actually just get grenade rail at least one so we unlock the ability actually just drop a bunch of them So we got the signal all the way up there. Get pull up. This is a lot great. Got the secondary unit. And that will be the engineer. We get the lightning ability on the next one. That's so much more better than uh, anything else to... Oh, that's a 10% mo experience modifier. I'll take that early on. That should really help at the start. That is electrocution. Probably not gonna upgrade that. Unless that there's no other option. up. Let's see if we can get the base weapons all the way up on multiple units. I think they nailed the uh, pick up sound. 
should be satisfying when you pick up like a bunch of uh, experience orbs. At this point, uh, diamonds. That is, and that's your pistol into an SMG. Oh yeah, that works. That is way better than just a normal pistol. Let's see the electro weapon on the evolved version. Uh, let's start upgrading the taser. Let's see if we can get this, the third uh, unit. So it looks like the uh, amount of money you need for the meta progress goes up every time you get one. So the early ones were way cheaper than uh, the later versions. So it significantly slows down your meta progress. Lifesteal, critical damage, no. More experience. On all the levels. So we have a 20% experience increase. Minefields. Uh, let's just get that. The war abilities we have to do better, is what I'm guessing. The ward evolves, things in level 2. So at a certain time they just get stronger. Uh, let's upgrade the SMG. Oh, it's getting papers. Oh, signals all the way down. Let's get... Better SMG. I oh, can pick up the health. It's not allowing me. Actually, that full health. When did that happen? So, I'm pretty sure I took damage before. Uh, no, I want maxed out SMG. Them all. all the way up there. Oh, that's the items I picked up. Oh, no. oh it's movement speed and weapon fire rate. Is that better or just? Let's just get a 10% damage up. That might actually be better. Instead of fire rate. Because your units do need to re uh, reload their weapons. Let's get the taser. Oh, he's just gonna run straight through several, uh, several mines. Within himself, so he only charges. So I can kind of bait him in. You should be fine as long as you're not completely surrounded with that enemy. Not a signal. I do like that they make you run around, so giving you uh, things to do in the run. Like a lot. Uh, shotgun upgrades. That's kind of my complaint with like all of these. Is that a lot of the times they don't make you search for stuff. 
They don't give you a reason to run around. But that is a bad game design in general. But you always need to have the player do something. And that doesn't need to be like... Oh, that's the first magnet I've seen. Uh, let's see, let's get that electrocution. Let's get shotgun. Let's get more electrocution. And we get what item? Skill cooldown. No, more XP up. 30% XP is up. I have no clue if it's a good idea, but... if it's worth it. So they did make it so if your full uh, health is completely filled up you can take the uh, health orb. Let's say that is a good idea. Yeah I don't uh, really see many negatives in this. At the moment at least. This is a good sign for any game. I got it. Won't pick it up. Armor happiness. I just get the dodge set. I have no clue what happiness does. What's that actually? Happiness. Zero. Should pick that up and see what happens. Because that seems to be like a more help thing. Uh, let's just get more electrocution. Oh, I took a bunch of damage while I was on that. There's a bunch of health. Oh, a bunch of health, bunch of XP. Uh, let's upgrade minefield. That is, and as you test the taser into Tesla gun. That's the evolved version. Yeah, now it's uh, bouncing. This makes that weapon way more effective. So now the lightning is arcing. Uh, let's get shotgun. Oh, that's what. The, oh, these things disappear eventually. Watch out for electrocution. This one. Oh, that's a movement speed one. Not that interesting. Oh, my health pickup is straight into the poison glass. Oh, it's this thing again. That thing will probably insta kill me. If I get hit. Elf. With mid bosses. Get pump action shotgun. Skill damage. Look, look at that. Oh, is that the amount of health you get back? 
Uh, let's get skill cooldown. Minus 10%. Let's go and try to murder this thing. Oh, we have two of the same. Oh, that's only one. Because I just murdered one of them. Was to be expected. So we're not allowed to go past uh, those points yet. That's the sh oh, that's the things I picked up. Not the stuff you unlocked. Why is this showing up again? Oh, it says unlocked. So I have five upgrades. So let's just get more movement speed. More weapons and let's actually get a 10% experience boost. And that's all we have. Uh, go back. So yeah, that's it for this episode. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.